Okay, so in this example, what I want you guys to see in, ooh, not that way, that way. In this example, um, if I want to eliminate or evaluate the limit of g of 1, of g of x, I'm sorry, and I want to evaluate as x approaches 1. Now again, let's just think about what this graph you know, possibly looks like. I have no idea what this graph looks like. But let's just pretend we, this graph looks like something we did beginning, right? Just pretend, OK? So at 1, like let's pretend there's a value, right? If you were to plug in g of 1, you're going to get some value, correct? Yeah. Right? You plug in g of 1, you're going to get some value. So you know, g of, um, so you'd have 1 comma g of 1, whatever that value is. Now I know you guys can do your math in your head, but I just want you to know that's a coordinate point. If I want to evaluate the limit, and I have a coordinate point from the left and right, whatever I plug in for g of 1, that's going to be the value that the limit is reducing, right? So the easiest, fastest way to evaluate a limit is just called direct substitution, just plugging in your values. So you're going to take 1, plug it in for x. So 1 squared is um, da, 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 uh, 1, minus 4 is negative 3. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. So that equals negative 1. So actually, the graph was somewhere like down here, right? But anyways, you guys get my point, hopefully. OK, so the easiest way to be would be to evaluate um, the limit. However, 